As I hear my footsteps and breathe the stale air, the reality hits me. This is a jail for children. I knew what I was getting into, but I hadn't imagined exactly what it would look like. Cinder blocks, thick glass, guards, door after door after door, all locked. No windows, no noise, no stimulation. In the gym, I set out the ropes, go over the lesson, and fidget knowing that there are four cameras on me. The girls single file into the gym, escorted by two guards. The looks on their faces, sullen, timid, and insecure. The transformation as they lace up their gym shoes is awesome. The air changes and the energy in the room begins to grow. I introduce myself and we're off. We begin with single rope relays, forward and back, back and forth across the long gym. I pull out the long ropes and ask for a volunteer. A few girls stand off to the side, but others jump to the challenge. They giggle and persuade one another to give it a try. I offer smiles and reassurance and high fives as they jump in and out of the double dutch ropes. As I teach them tricks and skills, I can feel them sizing me up, looking at my jeans, my tattoos, my nails, my eye makeup, even commenting on how good I smell. I can tell by the color of their wristbands just how serious of a crime they've been accused of. Many of them are in for prostitution or drug abuse, some more serious, but all felony offenses. By the end of the session, the girls are sweating and happily complaining that they are already sore. They change into their sandals, line up, hands behind their backs, shoulders and heads drop to the floor, and they file out of the gym. Their energy zapped with the simple motion of putting the sneakers back on the shelf. I navigate the maze of hallways and stairs, past two guard posts and through locked doors. I smile at the guards as I step outside into the sunshine, the fresh air, and freedom. As I sit in the driver's seat of my truck, I look at the cold brick building with its narrow windows, linoleum floors, locked doors, and fluorescent lights. I take a deep breath and I turn the key, confident that I've given these girls a piece of the outside world, a reason to do better, a reason to get out, a reason to not come back. It's not the jump roping that will keep them out, but the feeling of freedom and levity and the ability to breathe deep knowing that there are people in the world who believe in them. Now my only rhyme is this lesson I learned. You talk about trust, I talk about lust. It's not appealing as you truly speak.